And do just like you. Oh, dang, look at them shoes you got on. What is this? The, these shoes are actually really great. What is this, the corner wobble? This is actually a really good idea. Okay, so we got the roof ripped off. There's that. Just want to do a sneak peek of our side hustle. So this is what builders do on the side is they build other things on the weekends and at nights. So we did this cool little, like Chris and I were building this. We built this cool little um, kid's ladder made of pallet wood. And then the guys used it on site over there to get onto the roof and they already broke the steps. So we're gonna have to rebuild it. But the cool thing is, I don't know, it looked cool when it was done, <laughs> before they broke it. And then we snagged this used slide that's cool and white and we're gonna use it and build into this like two-story treehouse masterpiece that's gonna wrap around these two trees and it's gonna be like a two-level treehouse for now, two levels. Soon enough, it'll be like probably, I don't know, 80 levels or something? No, I'm just kidding. But I don't know, it could be. We're gonna work on that. That's our side hustle. And now we're looking for Mike. Hey mate, do you know where Mike is? Do you know where Mike? Really good idea. No, it's okay. Welcome to the fun. <laughs> Welcome to the farm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is in really bad shape. Yeah, and there's no shade up here. So you're not hot at all up here. No, I'm ready to peel back everything off. <laughs> Don't get naked. Don't make it weird, Mike. Not here. <laughs> you already caught me with my fly down. Yeah. So yeah, this is what we got here. You get to tell us about like, okay, let's go through a process of like, actually taking off the titles just like one or two and just show us like step by step talk as you do i guess i'll do it right here okay step by step i've never been filmed working step by step so don't so don't uh criticize me yeah go on tlc or something so first we're gonna start at the ridge right okay. and we'll knock off this mortar here You know, once we knock the mortar <laughs> off, we're throwing it off the side of the Danger! Roof. And then uh, <laughs> the tiles are laid from the bottom up. So when we're going to pull them off, we're going to do it from the top down. And by doing that, it exposes the nail here. And you can just get behind the tile and voila. That's yeah. how it's done. Yeah, and then we're gonna start papering this thing in a minute so we can waterproof it before the day ends. So. Why are you waterproofing it before the day ends? We don't want the house to get no rain in it. It's supposed to rain <laughs> for the, the next few days, rain. so. Dang. So we're gonna wrap this thing up right now. Like right now? Right now, yep. That's what Moses came up here for. Okay, Moses. He's here to save the day. I don't know about all that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Brittany lets you come back. Copper now. Copper? And they're pure copper. Whoa, are we saving these? Yeah, I got a whole can full. Cool. Got you another one. Yeah. What it's the like, heck? It's like three or four dollars a pound for those things. So you're gonna have at least 20 bucks I'm by a, the end I'm of the day. I'm gonna stack this whole roof up. <laughs> yeah, and pile up all the paint cans I can. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is the tar paper. Check this out. This is a hundred year old tar paper from 1914. So you can see like, this is what's protecting the roof. It's just like crumbling at this point. Yeah, lovely stuff to breathe in. No, don't, don't do that. Yeah. So. Yeah, good. yeah, we're gonna ice shield the whole roof. Yeah. That's gonna be really fun. Try and walk under Sticky that. stuff. <laughs> Actually, no, it's got that, it's got that, uh, it's like an asphalt texture on it. I forgot the term for it, but uh, it's on that, so it should be a lot easier to walk on stuff. Okay. A lot easier than this yeah, stuff. Sure will. Not there, right? Uh, 
That's his, that's his copper stash. Plus, you don't want the nails. Do you yell down anything special when you throw those? Like headache? It, uh, no, it's dangerous. I told everyone this morning not to go down there. Okay. They go down there and they get hit. <laughs> right over here, because I never heard him say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Johnny's supposed to warn you down. Okay. Right. Okay, they're ready to set it. They are going to set uh, the top cap of the brickwork that they just finished at the stairs. So I'm so excited to show you like the finishing touch. Okay. They have been storing these off on over here for just a little bit. Okay, four guys. The stone is obviously extremely heavy. Woohoo! how they built the pyramids. <laughs> Fingers, fingers. Lift up. There you go. Come on, son. Come in. No, no, no. Back up. It's just got to get up over that brick. There you go. Good job. We got it right there. Mm -hmm. That way a little bit? Yeah, we good. We put it in the center. Yeah, I found someone doing because they didn't put the bicycle. Woohoo! Hey, say, we're going to get the little wrestle book, though. Yeah, on the first one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Ready? Oh, we need a mic for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you see that? Peel out? Gracias. Because we're, we need 89 out of this, and there's no way to get 89. So it's actually a built-in wall. So it's designed to come this way further and then go back that way. And I'm trying so to rework that right now because of where everything is, we might be able to kind of like finagle. So we'll just deal with this? Yeah. As is? Well, we kind of have to because it's right. holding up that whole side of the house. Right. This is like the tie-in point, so kind of got unlucky there. 
not to mention it's also two different ceiling heights. So this one is already right. low and that goes up. So we just kind of have to. So would we just box it over just to continue it over so that way it doesn't look like it's weird? Yeah, you could do that in the bathroom. Or, I mean, if we really hated it, we could do an LVL that's more compact or do like three, like three together. Yeah. And glue and screw. But there's just no way to get rid of it though. I but mean, then we're never gonna get rid of it, so it's really not gonna help at this point. We'll and just so putting something out. else in is just more work. Yeah. So. Oh. So yeah, we'll just deal with it. Yeah. But I was gonna take, okay, so part of this is we are going to walk through this layout mm -hmm. and I'll show Zeke. So this is kind of what we wanted to do was move this existing door over to here so that way we have access to this whole wall. Build this new wall here just for extra space to go ahead and make a bigger decent bathroom and then um, call it a day. But moving this door is right behind you right here so we're really debating we don't need this in the shot um, but at this point moving the door is meaning that we don't necessarily follow history and so instead we're i'm like thinking all right what if we put the vanity here now because there's enough space i think here to get a shallow vanity so what's the tape say about that space what's the tape have to say about this? tape we're at 16 okay. and a half. So even if we got an 18 inch vanity and just set it off the window a little bit, like that's pretty cool. And how wide is this? So 16, I'll write it down. 33. I'll steal this pen, thank you. All right, so we got 33 here. And 16 and a half? Mm -hmm that nugget of space. So what if we use this space to put the vanity there? Now that gets it off of this wall. And then we definitely, okay, so we lose Your this swing. the door. We could change the swing of the door and put it into the living room. We can just literally take this out. Which would still make sense. I mean, it would still make sense for it to do that. That wouldn't be odd. Or, Going well, it doesn't. Outward into the space would be fine. I guess we can't use that space anyway, even if the door doesn't open. Okay, never mind. It's not a whole lot back there. It's not like, yeah. Okay. So we're going to take out this much space for the door. So that leaves us with what? If we do 30 inches for the toilet, bada bing, bada boom. And then what's left? And then we're at 60 to, the, to this wall. And then we were doing another eight and a half. So we're at 58 and a half. Okay. So almost 30, which is not enough. <laughs> right. But, okay, so that space we can't really use. But we could also push this wall. Because well, there's nothing, is the there anything holding us back over here? Yeah, the laundry. So that only leaves 40 inches over there for the laundry space. And with the washer and dryer, that's really tight. Yeah. So I think we do need to stay in the confines of this already yeah. space. But what if, let's see. So the door opens like this. Vanity. Okay, so the but the vanity is there, or at least the sink is, right? Yeah, the vanity. And you walk here. You're like, oh hey, beautiful world, getting ready. And then vanity, toilet. What are we missing? Wait, what if we do the toilet? What if we do the big shower right here? Oh, and then do toilet right over here. Is that all too awkward? I mean, okay, that's pretty awkward. It's pretty tight. Like the daylight right behind you? Okay. If 
you do the test squat, and then you're like, oh, I don't know. What's this? What was keeping us from putting something back there? The fact that we don't have enough space anyway behind the door. Because if you walk in and there's a toilet like here, like even if the door's right. opening that way, you can't walk around the toilet. <laughs> right. So, working backwards, we could do the vanity and the glass shower over there, and the toilet right here. This would be a throne. Like, let me look out into the world. It's really awkward, too. Basically we could do need, the shower. We basically need more space. We could do a giant shower right here in front of the window. No, that's just too awkward. That's just asking for trouble. <laughs> Doing it in the other space. <laughs> yeah, but having the window this low. Having the window this low. That's the awkward part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Door. Shower. Oh, wait a second. What? Wait, what's under See, here? See, we're getting eight and a half inches over here as well. We're getting eight and a half inches over here as well. Off so, of this. So this aren't like? we essentially getting it's not flat and level, but But it could be. Yeah, exactly. Kind of. I mean aren't we essentially getting what we need? So there's 30 inches for a toilet. So if we And a shower uh Vanity, toilet, toilet, shower, shower, vanity, and then we don't have to move. And we could center this door. Wait, up. hang on. Wait, here's the factoring dimension right here. So it's going to be half inch for drywall. Add 27 inches for the toilet depth, and then you need 36 inches, and that's not going to happen. So 36 inches of clearance in front of it. And now we have no shower again. Okay, we're moving the door. Yeah. I don't see any other way around it. Not and making this a usable space for what we want it to be. Okay. I don't think moving a door a couple inches is gonna tear down history. No. I don't think it's gonna hurt Robert Long's feelings all that much. He's probably jealous that we actually have a bathroom in here. He's gonna be like, you have a functioning <laughs> shower? What? <laughs> like yeah, pretty sweet. He's like you can. Move you mean it. I could have had a functioning shower in here if I just moved the door? <laughs> yes, you could. Okay, it's, all right. I think the plans stay the same. Okay. Okay, and if that's the case, let's go see. I like see how small this vanity spot space is. Twenty four inches. Let's just. Tell me about this space. Okay, Nick. Okay, okay. So I was coming down here one day and I came down the stairs and once they had gotten all the stuff cleared out, I was like, all right, this is an amazing cellar. So think canning and like just canning times like a thousand cans. So basically each one of these walls is gonna be covered with a, sh a thick antique shelf, like, I don't know, like a fatty, like, I don't know, two and a half inches or something. Three inches, I don't know, something big. But like a really big shelf along here and just looks super antique-y. Like I'm gonna distress it like crazy and then stain it. And then it's gonna just like span the whole wall. And then right in the middle, right here is going to be this giant table. Mike and I came down here and we measured out like a 12 foot table. Just so like that. from you to me. Sure. So just this giant like an old farmhouse table. Yeah, exactly. 
And we're gonna try to use all the old um, lumber that we've taken out of these houses and just repurpose them into a table. Um, and then above here, like three little chandeliers hanging down. So imagine like all of these canned goods all the way around and then a big table, like an antique table. And then over here, and oh, and back up. So like right over there is where we're going to do the canning station. So we're gonna bring all the fresh fruits and vegetables and everything in. There's gonna be a wash sink and like a utility type sink and a wash sink and then everything you need. So I picked up a meat grinder on Facebook Marketplace for $10 yesterday. <laughs> I drove 30 minutes to get in. <laughs> I don't know how good of an idea it was, but it was an old fashioned meat grinder. So everything you need to like do it old fashioned. So if we lose power or whatever, we've still got everything we need for food and food preservation down here. And it's like just picking up all these like antique pieces sure. and just making this cool like assembly line of canning that's just down here. What? And then yeah, so somehow we've got to design a false wall because we need plugins still. Because I do want to cheat and use modern day amenities. Well, yeah, can. yeah. Um, until we don't have power. And then once we lose it or whatever, then we can have backup. Great. And then, okay, so going this way, we also, this is where the furnace is going to be. <gasps> oh, look, they finished the cabinet. Look, this was um, the cabinet that was sitting. So this was in the bathroom. This is the original cabinet that came with the house. And this was what they stored all of their makeup and stuff in, in, the, in the bathroom. And so I had them refinish it and it's done now. It was covered in, you know, white paint, and cracked and everything. Beautiful. But like now it's really cool. Okay, that's beautiful. Wow. And so it's got the, see? They even cleaned all that. Wow. You're in it. Beautiful. And so over here is going to be our wine cellar, like taste test. So this is going to be the electrical box, which we're going to make it as pretty as an electrical box can be, which means we're going to hide it. And we're going to build like some custom piece to, I don't know, whether we use like beadboard or something to make it look like an old pantry cabinet that you just open the doors and then voila, there's a bunch of wiring. A bunch of modern day yeah. electrical. And then over here is gonna be like the cramped, most tiniest little table you've ever seen, but like a tiny little table with chairs and like wine bottles. Nice. So I found a cool way of mounting wine bottles horizontally to the wall, so it's kind of like an old fashioned frame. So you use the old wood from the house again and then just make these little boxes and display wine so this is going to be like a little a little bistro or a wine uh, location yeah I'm like hmm, i wonder how my salsa tastes we should go to the <laughs> tasting room i don't know so it's like a super extra spot but i'm really happy about it and so right now this doesn't look like it like right now it's a little bit creepy because it's so dark down here but once we get all these windows Un, well, unwooded. <laughs> and, there's a, and there's a door. Over there. Yeah, and the door that goes down. So like once all these windows are open and bright again, yeah. this is going to be just as bright as the upstairs. And what's amazing is it is dry. Yeah. Can you believe it? I mean, the fact is that this is, this, these structures are so old, but yet everything is in good shape. Thank you for mom for bringing your Sicilian stone maiden to cross the ocean in a boat to build this thing in 1914. Doing it right. Yeah. And okay, so another cool thing is like, okay, look out this window, these windows, and you see it's like grass level. So I'm, I want to plant all of these windows in flowers, like little flowers, so that like they blow in the window like this. So when you look out these windows, all you're going to see is flowers like this tall. Everywhere. Very pretty. Like, so, yeah, outside is just right here. Very pretty. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of light. There's two. There's two windows back there. Yeah, there's Only one of them though. Like seven windows in this basement. This is the 
This actually has the most windows of any room. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah.